Okay. Uh, so for some reason the audio cut out on my emulator, and I, it's also being really annoying today. So uh, I just figured I'd put something on in the background. Um, Persona, uh, Persona Three soundtrack stuff, because usually it doesn't get flagged for anything from what I can tell. Uh, most YouTube videos. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud. Um, let me go check the. Uh, yeah, it does seem a little loud, so I'm gonna. Let's see. Hopefully it's also not too like low, because if it's too low, then it's like what's the point of it being like just kind of distracting. Um. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about this banner today. Uh, I'm actually I'm actually gonna pull on this, so it's not just gonna be a banner review. Um, there's not a whole lot here to review other than um, Saros herself. Um, and I just kind of want to talk about, um, yeah, just like her impact on, on like Aether Raids, especially for like, again, us flyer balls. Um, so let's, let's, uh, before we go here, let's kind of go take a look at where she would occupy the seventh space. Um, cause she's going to, well, she, she can, you can change your team around her, right? And be like, okay, so now we have a new, a new unit. We can, um. A seventh unit on defense so you can put that you can put her there uh let's go to here so you can change your team around now that you have seven people but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave it the way it is as you see here with everybody where they are and just kind of like maybe move this around here somewhere like that and then put um just put her here is what my plan is um, and of course, as you can see, I'm still running, I'm still running Lost Castle just because I, I can't figure out what else to run instead of Lost Castle. I think this is Lost Castle, I'm not entirely sure. We are in Lost Castle, yeah. I'm still running Lost Castle because I couldn't figure out what else to use. Uh, of course, this is still um, going to get me killed. Uh, I think I've already lost a few times because of this, but I'm not entirely sure. I haven't checked my defenses. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to put her here because you need to like... You need to put something here, here, and here that can deal with Leaf first and foremost. Uh, anything else, like if she dies to something else, the chances are like these will be able to deal with whatever else she dies to, right? Um, so yeah, so she's gonna be here. Uh, I'm gonna take off her skill, her her. Well, let's go talk about her first. Now that we know, um, now that we know what position she's gonna occupy and basically what she's gonna do. I mean, all she's gonna do is gonna stand here and, and tank stuff. If she dies, it's all right. She's an extra. She's the bonus unit, so it doesn't really matter all too much. Um, so, so let's see here. So, if you're gonna pull red, is kind of bad. I mean, I like red usually just because I, I need legendary Roy's, um, but he's only at a plus two right now, and I'm never I'm probably never gonna get him to the plus five because <laughs> there's never really a reason to. Uh, plus ten, I mean. Uh, Leaf is actually pretty strong on defense. Uh, he's not the greatest, but like you run into him sometimes, and it's like, oh, he's he's like I can't just kill him. I mean, he he just like kills me on the on the counter attack. Um, that depends on like how how tanky he is and all that other stuff, and like you know depends on your build and depends on how uh, it depends on your your opponent kind of not being wary of him or or, or not having something prepared, but. Uh, he is very, he is just not, like, he's not that strong. He's just close range, doesn't have a lot of range. It's just, yeah. Like, if it's, is it, the problem is it's because uh, it's between him and uh, Thrasir. And Thrasir just blows him out of the water. It's like, why would I have him when I can just use Thrasir? Um, yeah, so there's really no point to having um, Leaf on your defense. Like I said, he, he's just kind of interesting. Uh, he doesn't necessarily just die right away, and, and he can maybe, like, like he can counter a leaf, but like leaf is just something to worry about. He's not like the end all be all of like arena of uh, AR, uh, and that kind of goes to show by the fact that I've no longer like ever since I built this new air, um, this new flyer ball. Like I have not run into a single leaf because none of them can deal with my team, and you know I've just been losing to generally other stuff. And right, so um, yeah, it's just it's just important to realize that like leaf is is a, is a problem, but he's not really the biggest problem because people have other teams. Uh, but yeah, so like again, this isn't very good. I mean, you can hear you can inherit the Swiss Barrel three and the um, low speed defense, but not really worth wasting orbs on unless you really need that for a build. In, in which case, you know, by all means. Uh, but you're probably gonna get uh, jobbed. And I want to talk about something a little bit. And I think Acris might have already made a video on this, but I still want to talk about it um, for the sake of this video. Uh, green, 
like I said, Thrasir is here, but you also have to like pull on Yoon, who's ostensibly useless because now we have um, what's her name, uh, Triandra. Uh, she's all right because she sabotages Res, but like none of your other like at least on our on my Flyerball, right? And depending on what your Flyerball looks like, uh, none of my units. Um, like she's going to be the only one hitting Res, along with I guess um, what's her name, along with I guess. Uh, Byleth, but it's really not that important to get the res. Like, you really want something like in your sabotage slot, you want something that'll help everybody. So, maybe like a sabotage attack or a sabotage speed. Because no matter who's on your what unit is fighting on your team, those are going to be very useful. Um, and you can just replace that, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, and this just like hits someone for five or whatever. That's no one cares. Um, if she hits someone with this, then she gets bonuses. It's like whatever. She's just gonna die to bows, like CC advantage bow users. Uh, Deke, Deacon. Um, this is actually kind of interesting to think about this one because this skill looks pretty fun to use with Plagian Axe or Plagian um, Bow, right? Or just yeah, because. Uh, when you're there, you debuff them by five, and you add five to yourself. So when you go into combat, you're basically reducing them by a guaranteed what 15, and you're getting a five swing in your favor. So um, it's pretty good, but again, it has to be like they have to be. You have to leave your unit out there, and especially like on AR, if you leave your Norn there, like chances are she's gonna like just kill everybody before the net the following turn comes where she debuffs them and then you can kill them like she's either gonna die or she's gonna murder everybody and it's not like it, the thing about the threaten is it just has, it just takes too long to do anything uh close defense four is just whatever um but yeah i mean if, if you need this particular fodder i mean there he is uh, he's got three he's got uh well for one he's got this and he's got uh, these two so unfortunately you can only take one of this and then one of these two or you could just take both of these and you know score higher in arena and all that stuff but um so air obviously uh i always need more air merges um because yeah i mean just air in general you need more merges on her uh for um for ar uh, but I don't really, I'm not going to pull for air on a banner like this where I'd have to summon Alm because I really don't care about Alm and Flane, who I also care very little of. Um, yeah, I don't, you know, it's, I ha for one, I already have a Flane uh, and I don't really use her as it is because, again, what it comes down to is on offense, you really need to not, uh, you really need a lot of kill potential. Um. You can't just like tank up. You can't turtle up because you're just gonna get shredded. Um, she's gonna be the best for turtling up, of course, or maybe not the best, but like one of the best because she just provides an entire team wide, you know, thirty percent damage reduction. Um, but you really need to just like have. You need to have a balance, and putting her like on on my flyer ball, the way it's set up, putting her on my flyer ball tips too much in the flavor of. Um, just turtling up and i won't be able to kill secure kills or just kind of catch people out if i if i run something like flame so fortunately uh, she's kind of out of the out of the bucket there so the reason i kind of went over all the other colors here is just to kind of say that like none of these other colors are worth summoning on because um if we look here the rates are eight percent for a five star if we look at like a regular banner like this for some for some reason we find here that like the focus, so if you're gonna pull only on green or whatever. Oh, well, this is kind of a bad example because there's two greens and there's two reds. Uh, see, so this is even, this is this one's even better. So it's 4% for a five star, right? And you know, we saw last time that other one was 3%. 3% for a focus, right? And you can, you can spark, but let's pretend the spark didn't exist. So it's 3% for a focus unit. So if you're pulling on red, again, it's annoying that they keep doing this, but like, let's say you wanted to pull for a green. Uh, you have a 3% if you're pulling for green to get that um, that unit you want. If we look over here, these rates are actually lower on this banner because this 8% is divided amongst the three units that are here. So to get her, to get Seirus, you're, you're pulling at a uh, 8 divided by 3 
Uh, six divided by three is two, so it's between two and three percent, right? So it's less than three percent, but it's higher than two percent, which is pretty bad. Uh, what, what is it like? Three point two point seven. So two point seven percent to get the one blue unit you want, which you know those rates. Basically, the point is those rates are lower than like standard rates, and nobody pulls on standard banners for the simple fact that like the rates suck. Um. But you kind of have to pull if, like, if it has units you need or units you want. And the reason I saved it to last is to say that these units are complete trash. Like, I don't, you don't need your mirror. I don't need mirror impact for anything. I mean, I don't think any flyer ball needs mirror impact for anything. Um, light and dark, you can't inherit that anyway. Uh, attack res oath. Who cares? Uh, there's like, it's just there's no fodder here. Like. Julia's a strong unit, sure, but what are you going to use her in? Like, there's nothing to use her in. You can't use her in Arena because you, you, you're not going to have merges on her. You can use her in PvE, but you can use everything in PvE, so who cares? You can't use her in AR because, well, what are you going to what are you gonna do with her in AR? You, you don't have enough slots on your team to just run flavor picks. Like, you're too busy running your four mythic bonus units. You're too busy running um, your support unit, and you're busy running a carry unit. So, you know... <laughs> Uh, he's pretty good for AR in terms of like, oh, I need a carry unit. He's a pretty good carry unit. Um, he, yeah, I mean, he's just really strong. Um, you know, there's no reason not to, especially like you got odd tempest here. So he can move three spaces for, a for, a, uh, what's it called? An infantry unit. So it's pretty good though. My problem is I don't really want him. Like I, I cannot be asked, uh, to give a crap about, uh, Dimitri whatsoever, like in any form whatsoever. I just don't like Dimitri. Uh, I'm not sure why. Um, he's very strong. Obviously, he's got the um, spurn built into his weapon. He's got a plus five to everything and a special cooldown reduction. Uh, so you can run him on like a uh, distant counter and you're solid. And atrocity is basically that's what <laughs> it's aptly named. It is an atrocity. Um, if he's over 50, he just gets 25% true damage. Uh, and then he just drops everybody by five, and he's got pen and he's got um, pulse smoke built in. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's not much else to say about him. He's just really, really strong. Uh, you don't need to run uh, defense smoke because he does that. You don't need to run like anything in the C slot. Uh, so if you want to carry, I mean, by all means, that's your guy. Uh, but if you're summoning on this banner, it's because you you want Saros and. I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I know there's stuff on the horizon coming up, um, the new CYL banner and all that stuff, and I really want to uh, summon for, I want to summon for, if Byleth wins, which I, I think she'll win, I want to summon for uh, the CYL Byleth, the Brave Byleth, uh, even though that's more of a, like, again, that's more of a flavor summon, it's just because I want Byleth, because I like Byleth and, and, and uh, all her forms, um, but the thing is, that's going to that's not going to help anything right like that's going to be like personal reasons it's going to be for you know just like i said flavor pick um unfortunately to to you know you kind of have to balance your orbs between summoning for you know progress and summoning for the sake of wanting to and like i said uh, unfortunately we kind of saros is here and i need to summon for her because i'm gonna re if i don't i'm gonna regret not having one the same way i did for well, the same way I am for Mila, seeing as she's the new bonus unit uh, next week. Uh, and the same I kind of did for Plumeria when she came out. I really should have summoned on that banner. Um, but yeah, let's kind of talk about her, her skills and all that stuff. So apparently this is Inheritable, which is kind of interesting. Um, so Dragons now have a um, their own damage reduction skill. Uh, and it's kind of it's pretty good that it was um, res because there's not a lot of fast dragons and even the fastest dragons like Sothis aren't that fast like at a plus 10 like full flower investment speed boon she's like 49 speed and that's like barely that's like nothing compared to like the speed that uh, Ninja Hana can reach so um, it's good that they're they're doing res because basically with the dragons there's a lot of like you can build a pretty um, rest tanky dragon and a pretty defense tanky dragon, um, <clears throat> and not have to worry because they're either gonna hit your res, in which case not only do you have right because it's good that it's on one of the defensive stats right because not only like you're gonna build huge res so you know forty and above the way her res is 
So if a unit comes and they target your res, not only are they have to hit through all your res that you already have, but they're also getting damage reduction because your res is probably higher than theirs, right? Um, and who has the highest res in the game? It's going to be mages most of the time, right? Most of the time mages have high res, which means that you're probably going to kill them, have an easier time killing them because you can hit their their um, their weakest element, their weakest uh, defensive stat, right? You can hit, you can have adaptive damage on them against tanks. Uh, a lot of times you have more res than they do, so you're getting full damage reduction, plus you're probably stacking a bunch of defense as well, uh, you know, against like physical attackers like swords or whatever. Uh, so that's pretty useful as well. Um, I'm kind of thinking, uh, run, like maybe, w w what's like shield wall? Can you run shield wall on legendary Corrin? That'd be kind of interesting to see, I think. Uh, she already has kind of built-in damage reduction on her special, but... And they're multiplicative, so you're gonna get. You're not gonna get. Um, I think it's 30 plus this. You're not gonna get 70 damage reduction. You're gonna get. I think he. Uh, those of you who watch um, Phoenix Master One, uh, he had a visual on there, so I think it's like 58 percent. But still, 58 is a lot. It's like that's almost 60 percent damage reduction. Um, on your unit, and she has. She can stack a lot of skills. So if you have a legendary core at plus 10, I think this might be an interesting uh, inherit for her. Um, but yeah, that's that's something else. Um, so on my defense, I'm going to just keep everything she has, take this and give her a distant counter probably. Um, yeah, probably give her a distant counter, maybe give her, um, I don't know, probably give her glacies or something like that. Not glacies. No, she has glacies, idiot. Um, iceberg. Uh, I need that. You need the three cooldown special so that if, if leaf hits her, uh, he hits her twice. So since it's a three, she he hits her twice. She's down to one. She should be able to do a follow-up attack because of this. Oh, no, she can't. Okay, never mind. So, probably something like a Moonbow, then, or a Glimmer. Yeah, probably a Moonbow. Um, or, no, I think Glimmer, because she, she has adaptive damage on Leaf. So, just to give her more, uh, win more possibility. So, I'm going to give her a distant counter with Moonbow, uh, Glimmer. Uh, and then she should, after she gets hit twice, it should be uh, fully active, and then she hits... <laughs> Uh, leaf back to one shot him theoretically right that's kind of what you want to happen um will it always happen who knows right um so yeah probably this encounter is is going here uh i'm probably going to keep shield wall because her main job is just to sit here and, and not die and then help out uh later if um if she can uh this is definitely going off so she's losing this and this for uh hopefully if i have uh any drives because this like this is this is such a dumb ability like i'm not sure what was up with this like <laughs> it's such a wasted slot like she helps mythic heroes which i'm not entirely sure like your team isn't really full of mythic heroes um sure i mean i guess like you're you're boosting uh thracier and um leaf but it's like are you running a whole team of thracier and leaf they're just kind of there like thracier and leaf aren't there to be like what your team is designed for they're there to like if i have to run a mythic unit at least I'm like you know I'm great I'm grateful it's Thrasir, but it's not like you really favor Thrasir that much, right? That's kind of the point. And the fact that you're giving all these bonuses to like these random characters that like are just here because you have to have them here, uh, it's it's kind of annoying. Um, so these are I'm gonna take these off for drives. Um, probably probably two drive defenses just to help. Uh, because again we're, we're still I'm still at the point where like my Camilla cannot survive Regan even if I gave her like distant foil and um. Heart, uh, guard bearing. Uh, so yeah, so I need I need to figure out what to do with that. Um, and part of it, part of what's gonna help that is probably just gonna get um, gonna be this. So she's gonna have two drive defenses here. So hopefully that helps a little more. I think drive defense will give that's six, right? Six in total. Yeah, three to units in in that in that vicinity. Uh, it would have been so much nicer if she was uh, a flying unit, but yeah, that's kind of asking a bit much. Uh, while we're here, I guess I'm just going to summon on the other banner uh, to get the Plagian Bow, um, just just for the sake of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, on top of that, I just love her art form, her artwork. She looks a lot like, um, I think it's Cassandra from, from Soul Calibur, my, one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Um, Cassandra or Sophidia, and I think, it's, I think she looks a lot more like Cassandra, but um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I guess let's just get in there. Um, we're just gonna summon until we pull one blue unit. After that, we're getting out of there. It doesn't matter who it is. Um, like I said, I don't have the unit. I don't have the orbs to just like pull until I summon her. 
Uh, are we probably are we probably gonna get her? Probably not. Um, so first priority is going to be uh, blue. Then probably colorless, colorless, just to maybe hopefully get a another air merge. Uh, then green, then red. Uh, so that's how it's gonna be. Uh, let's just kind of get in here and see what. Um, so we're pulling on blue. I don't have my notebook with me. Oh, that would have been funny. I, I, I was like, wait, did I already get one? <laughs> um, back, so I'll stop. And I cleared out my barracks at a time this time, so. Uh, we're only, we're not getting very many blue here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, there's Reinhardt. It's funny to see how like how hard Reinhardt has fallen off. Uh, so we're gonna summon these three. Uh, this blue and those two colorless just to boost our rates for the next uh, the next one next time around. Um, I said we're gonna wait. Like the the maximum I'm gonna go is gonna summon one blue. Like as soon as I hit one blue, we're out of here. But like if I summon like an air or something, I'll have to think about what to do then. And I'm I'm gonna keep a close eye on my um on my orbs just to see kind of like. Ideally, we don't dip below 200, uh, but, you know, ideal things never really um, pan out for for us, do they? Because uh, they just stop. Okay, so we should be at 9 or 8.5% now, yep. Uh, so I'm going to pull these two uh, blues and then that colorless one over there. So there's Shauna. Um, I guess to kind of fill the air with something. Um, so in terms of AR, I really kind of I'm kind of curious to see how uh, everyone's doing in um, the Vault of Heaven right now because, like I said, right now it should be like the hardest it's it's probably ever gonna be. Maybe not ever gonna be. You know what I mean? Because it's constantly gonna be like the the idea is to get constant competition up there. Uh, stop. But in terms of like this this time to last time, it should be significantly harder now. Um, I think uh, hopefully you get two next time. It should be significantly harder. Uh, we're just gonna pull. I guess we'll pull these three colorless. Well, no, I'm just gonna pull one. Oh, look, we got an air. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, let's go see what uh, what our IVs are. Uh, res. That's actually pretty good because. So my the thing with my air is she has plus attack, but that's just because I want her to soak chills and whatnot. Uh, but a plus res air would be pretty good to just run Tamari Dagger on her. Um, although one thing to consider is that a lot of people, some people are, are not running to uh, Tamari Dagger or like <clears throat> any visible debuffs in general on AR offense, specifically for the fact that like you trigger people's um, rally traps by just debuffing them. Period. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, I think I'm just going to summon on these two other color lists. It'd be funny if I get more airs. Um, I could really use the, um, the lift boost, the air, the aether raids, or what is it? Yeah, the lift boost, I guess like you gain more lift. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, having a lot of res on your air is not exactly like the worst thing in the world. Gordon and stop as you can see up here I'm like I got a lot of feathers that's just because I don't have anything I can like <laughs> I can level up right now oh my gosh I guess we'll summon I'm gonna summon these three colorless ones come on where's my second air hey more Kagero's I need her to be speed uh, yes finally I can finally okay there you go that, that was kind of the main blocker to not plus tending my Kagero was um, <laughs> my Kagero or Kagero um, was not having a plus speed one. I have like, I don't even know, 16, maybe 20, uh, 20 of her, and <laughs> not a single plus speed one, which is pretty irritating. Um, so finally we got a plus speed one after all these years. Well, I might have gotten a plus speed one sometime before, but I probably, uh, like just, um, sent her home for feathers. Uh, cause back then, I mean... Oh my gosh, there's no blue one. So, this is bad. Um, like I said, I don't want to dip below 200, so I'm just going to like stop and kind of evaluate what's going on here. 
how far I want to go. I mean, I've already got an error, so we've we've kind of just you know, we we made out with a, a net gain, I'd say. Um. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to bite it and um, summon around. Three focus for the four star focus, another three percent. Uh. So here we're gonna want colorless and green. Of course, we get all reds. Uh, here's uh, Shershi. Back and stop. Yeah, so I need, I mean, he is a, uh, he's a four-star focus. So hopefully we can get at least a few copies of him. We got the wrong colorless uh, archer there. Um... Because you need at least, well, I know, I, I need at least two because uh, I want one for uh, Norn as well as one for Boki. Though, if I only get one, I, again, we'll, we'll stop, we'll, we'll go and we'll check our progress to see how many orbs we have. Uh, oh my gosh, this is garbage. We'll see how many orbs we have. And then I'll make the decision of, like, do we want to go further? Um, because, uh, stop, because we only really need one. Because I'm, I'm kind of phasing out my Boki usage a lot more because Norn is just so strong that, like, she solves everything just by existing. Um, and the more Mercedes. Uh, I think I'm going to make a plus 10 Mercedes at some point as well just to have, like, a, something I can use in... in, um... Arena, like a healer. And we got Corrin for some reason. Corrin doesn't... I don't think Corrin has a whole lot. I already have one of these, which is why we didn't get like the, the words or whatever. Or the new, I don't know, something. Yeah, Corn doesn't have anything, which is kind of sad. She's got attack speed plus, but I'm, not, I'm probably not going to fodder her off for that. Just because I have so many other units I can fodder um, rally plus skills from. Uh, stop. So we're getting... Eh. Oof. We're getting kind of 50 50 here, which is kind of the suck, but it is what it is. And nothing. Uh, here's Barst. Back and stop. Oof, I've never had such a hard time pulling a four star focus unit before. Yes, finally! Muscle Monger. So we got one. I feel like we should just kind of call it quits there because it was already a huge pain in the ass to get this one. Um, plus speed, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to use them. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, so do I want to pull for another one? I guess that's the question, right? Like I said, I mean, I'm kind of phasing out my bulky usage to some degree because uh, Norn is just so strong <laughs> as it is. But it's good to have bulky sometimes around because um, there's some maps that just straight up lose to having a flyer. Like, they, they build it, they, they choose the tile set, and they build it in such a way that, like, oh, I can just kind of put a flyer right here and then just destroy their entire team. Um... <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, I better just take a second one just for this just to just for just in case. Um there's no reason not to. Uh, I don't think I'll fodder it off to her to Boki right away, but like I said, it's just good to have the second one just for the sake of um, being chill. So you see me summoning on greens, even though it's like, like that orb, that, that circle, I could have just not summoned that green and been fine, but, um, come on, there's another one, nope, oh, there's Matthew, uh, even though I didn't have to, because I already got the, like, because again, it's like, I'm summoning on green, uh, colorless, and if there's green, then I'll take it, if there's, I mean, if there's nothing else but green, then I'll take it, but, um, I just kind of want to get the pity up, and I really would like that Tharja. More so, like, I'm not going to fodder her off, necessarily, per se. 
But that the fact that it's a Pelagian uh, tome is pretty interesting. However, the only problem, the main problem is there really isn't any units that can run it right now. Like at least not that I have. Um, there's probably some good green units out there. The the the, the idea with that with the with the Plegian, um tome, that green tome, is you really want a unit that has um, oh nice. You really want to use it on a unit that has. Come on, yes, another one, cool. And we're done. So we're, I'm gonna summon these few, last few um, orbs here, and we're gonna get out of here. Uh, you want that tome because that tome reduces attack and res. You want it on someone like you can kind of not necessarily ignore, you know what I mean? But like you can kind of just like not pay too much attention to their to your unit's defense, res, and HP. Like the HP is still, you know, you kind of want a decent amount of HP. But like you don't have to pay too much attention to those. What you want the most of is speed, right? Because you can kind of cover your ass with like your defensive stats because you're dropping their attack, and then you can cover your offensive stats because you're dropping their res, right? The only problem there, uh, stop. The only problem there that comes up, right, is the fact that unfortunately, um, you need to you need to have enough speed to double people, or else you're gonna die. And you need enough speed to prevent doubles on you, because you're gonna die no matter how much like damage reduction you're doing to them. If you're kind of lacking on on defensive stats, um, you need speed. Speed speed needs to be your pseudo defense in that sense. Uh, so this is cool. We'll, we'll summon these four and move on. Uh, Nawi. Yeah, I didn't like I said I didn't want to dip below, but I guess we're kind of forced to uh, go here. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, it it the pro and the problem is there really isn't any like good free to play like green tome options. As I just like realized this, like as soon as she came out, I was like, oh, who can use this? Who can use this? And I was running around looking, and there really isn't anyone who can use it. Like. Who's a pretty good option? Uh, Nino. Uh, Flying Nino. Giga Nino. Giga Excalibur Nino. She's a pretty good option. She's got, you know, a huge speed stat. Uh, and her defensive stats are not, like, necessarily lacking, but they're also not, like, the best. Um, but if, you know, with that with that tome, you can just stop, you know, you can just not worry about it too much. However, the problem being that... Um, uh, we got colorless here. Oh, blues. Yeah. I'm still in the brain mindset of that other banner. This is what you want to be careful of. No, we got Julia. Okay, so we're out of here. We're gonna, I'm just going to summon the full circle. Well, not the full. Well, maybe. And then we're going to get out of here. Because uh, this was not. This is a waste. Eh, not much to it, but to do it, I guess. Um, so I guess the summoning session is over. Now we got a blue. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, Giganino looks like a pretty good uh, user of it. But for one, like... She gains 7 true damage on her weapon. That's nothing to sneeze at. That's like, you know, true damage isn't exactly the easiest thing to come by for a lot of units. The fact that she has it based on speed, and we got a... Damn it. <laughs> Let's see if we get an error. Come on, please give me an error. I'm just going to pull the whole circle just because... I mean, it's 9% and we might as well. Um, But yeah, that's kind of... Let's see what we get here. That was kind of the problem, and not not only that, but Giga Nino is actually not just like a it's not just something you can you can you know merge project right. It, she's a pl she's a five star unit right. Like getting a plus ten her is not going to be that easy. Um, so yeah, like I said, she's a pretty good candidate, but she's not realistic. And you know, the question is, do you want to replace her weapon, especially considering her weapon isn't refined currently, but it's probably going to be due for a refine soon. Uh, we can go kind of take a look at my. Uh, so we didn't get very much out of that, unfortunately. Um, rarity. Let's go to greens. Uh, green tomes down here. Yeah. So her her stats aren't too bad for something like that, because you can stack her speed. Like, if you get a speed boon, she's already at 45 at a plus one merge. It's not too good, but it's not too bad either. Um, she comes with speed smoke. Probably want to replace that with something um, like a... A speed res air that'd be pretty good uh, no a speed res rain um but yeah the thing is like do you want to replace giga excalibur that gives you uh seven seven true damage you know given speed as well as like she's probably due for refine at some point right so that's something to consider actually you kind of theoretically have a plus uh, i do kind of theoretically have a plus two nino because there's that nino from the, the what's it called those uh papers the the standard papers 
um, you can just merge her into her. Because, I mean, she doesn't have any fodder for anyone else, so may as well just, like, merge her. Uh, but, yeah, she's one of the only users. The only other users being, uh, let's see, can we sort by, let's do, yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know what that did. Oh, here we are. Yeah, cool. Um, I, I'm kind of getting tangential here, I guess, but it is what it is. It's fine. Um, 41 speed. Celica is another excellent option. Um, however, again, the same problem of like, you're not going to get a plus 10 her unless you're going to do what I did with uh, Byleth and you're just going to blow all your orbs on her. Um, and But she doesn't really help you in very much unless, like, if you want to run an AR, uh, uh, um, if you want to, if you want to run a arena team, she should be pretty good for there. If you want to dedicate your time to arena, and that's that's entirely up to you. Uh, but let's kind of look at some free to play options. So she's a free to play option, but uh, she's a dancer primarily, and her stats for fighting aren't that good. I mean, I guess you can kind of patch that up with the tome, but eh, I really wouldn't do that either. Um, uh, and that's kind of it for free to like all these five stars free to play options. You're basically kind of like limited to Soren, which I mean, no one's gonna build Soren. Uh, Robin, which, you know, there's a reason we don't build Robin. Uh, and you're left with only Nino and, um, and Cecilia. And Cecilia's problem, she doesn't have enough speed. And Nino's problem, uh, regular Nino's problem, is she also doesn't have enough speed. Uh, they're both barely hitting, like, 40-something at, like, a plus 10 merge, which is kind of, like, <laughs> not very good. Um... But yeah, so, that's kind of, I just wanted to have one of those. I mean, it, it's kind of a moot point now, considering, um... Uh, it's gone considering I'm not gonna you know I, I didn't get one and I'm not gonna summon anymore for that uh, but at least I got the two bows I needed and uh, we'll we'll get back to you next season when uh, we're back at uh, we're back on light season we can see what kind of uh, damage they can do with those bows uh, I'm really excited to see because it's like it just looks like a lot of fun because <laughs> having having Norn with like you know, a team-wide, uh, what's her name, a Versa debuff, uh, a Panic debuff, so minus three to everything, plus the possible, you know, minuses from Panics, and then on top of that having, um, she's right here, Bridal Makaya drop all their defenses by seven, and then give you true damage based on that is like, <laughs> I don't think anything's going to survive that, and it'll be fun to test that going into the Vault of Heaven, because I, I, theoretically, as long as nothing goes wrong, um, famous last words there. Uh, I should be in the vault by next season. Um, like I said, uh, oh, actually, ah, oh, I forgot. I was looking for a plus attack nor um, plus attack Kagero because her dagger gives her plus four attack and speed if her attack is higher. So I forgot I didn't need speed on her because usually you need speed on every unit. Um, just kind of in general, right? You're gonna want speed on all your units. Like, don't you know? Just kind of go with that. Um, but I wanted to make sure, like, because getting a plus attack is basically getting a plus speed on her, because you're, you're guaranteeing you get the four speed here. Though, theoretically, you probably do want to just go for the plus speed, because, like, anybody, so if someone's gonna, if someone's gonna, uh, outspeed you, you should probably have more attack than they are, even without the boon. Uh, so you really need to, like, pinch those, like, that speed so having a plus speed isn't too bad and i think i'm just gonna merge her up with a plus speed and just kind of hope she has enough attack uh most of the time uh for this to go off because like otherwise like there's no point in running kagero because uh this dagger doesn't do anything unless you get higher attack than they are um so it is what it is um the only other thing you run kagero for is like a broadleaf fan build right but i already have felicia for that and i'm not sure gonna, i'm gonna what i want to pull for another broadleaf fan because that was already a pretty miserable experience the first time around um but yeah having kagero with the broadleaf fan is one of your better options considering she's got one of the higher attack stats like her and matthew i think are, are pretty good for that um but like i said i already have a broadleaf fan user and again that, that's more for like instructional purposes of like i have the worst broadleaf fan user you could get and she still just demolishes everybody so you know, whatever one you want to go with, you're going to do probably 10 times better, right? This is kind of the point. Um, and, like, again, like, there's already so many Broadleaf fan, like, candidates, right? Like, she's pretty good with a Broadleaf fan. Uh, he's pretty good with a Broadleaf fan. She's, you know, <laughs> she's her. Uh, you know, is going to be pretty good with a Broadleaf fan. I mean, look at her. At 40, like, at, 
at plus one, her attack stat's already higher than Felicia's. Like, you know what I mean? It's like... It is what it is. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to merge this into, into her. I think I'm just going to keep the plus attack one. Um, theoretically, I really would like to have the plus speed, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but I don't have a plus speed one yet, so we're finally going to be... I, I hate, I've hated that it's a plus four for so long, so finally we're going to get out of there and have a plus uh, five. Uh, what else was I... What else? Uh, I guess I can talk about... Um, no, I guess that was it. Just talking about uh, the new AR changes with her and what she's going to do if I were to get her, but I didn't get her, so it wasn't really a whole lot of points of talking about her. Um, yeah. I'm probably not going to summon anymore. Like I said, I, we got to save orbs. I'll probably wait till she comes around on another banner with better units. I'm not sure what better units she could come with, though. Um, but, yeah. Fortunately, so if we want to talk about, I guess, for a moment, a moment talk about um, one thing. I might have already mentioned this, but I, I need um, Dive Bomb here. <laughs> So that's another thing I have to save orbs for. But fortunately enough, um, the per the one person who has Dive Bomb that comes with Dive Bomb also comes with Heavy Blade 4, which is what I wanted here anyway. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Basically, it means that uh, in one swoop, I can basically complete my Pala. Um, this will be something else, probably like a maybe a Death Blow, but probably a Swift Sparrow. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of speed, but you kind of need that extra speed to um, beat Bector because if you if you give Bector, because sometimes they'll, they'll give Bector like you know if you boost Bector with all visible buffs, it's okay for him because if they get panicked, it doesn't matter because when he gets attacked, he wipes all debuffs anyway, so he can only gain from having those buffs on him, right? Uh, so fighting against a buffed up uh, Bector, he can kind of like he doesn't. You can't outspeed him with just like your basic speed uh, Pala. Fortunately, that's kind of why I run uh, her with the goad and um, her with goad, right? And then as well as having Camilla here providing plus three speed attack and speed. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the reason I run those like that. Uh, but even then, it's like if 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 we're talking like a plus ten Bector with all you know plus six to everything. Um, it's still going to be really hard to uh, fight against him because you're barely going to be missing speed, especially because my uh, my pala. Maybe if I got a plus ten pala, but my pala is only plus two, um, so her speed is kind of low. Uh, so yeah, running a um, running the uh, swift sparrow is probably going to be what I end up going with, and that should basically guarantee my um, not only the quad because. This forces a quad, and if you outspeed, you're just a second secure. The reason that's important is because uh, Bector, or Bike, no, Bector, yeah, Bector. Bector's Lance denies follow-ups. So if you have two ways to get a follow-up, both from an ability and from your speed, that denial can only stop one. So the other one will still get through, <laughs> right? So basically, that's what that means. Uh, and then you can still quad him, and then he'll die. Um, so if you hit him four times before he can counterattack, that's 20 true damage from Heavy Blade. Uh, without even mentioning how much damage she does on top of that, so 20 plus whatever she's doing. If she hits, like if she hits for 10, that's four times for 40 plus that 20. That's already 60 damage, and then she's gonna charge her special even if he has special spiral, because uh, she has the Heavy Blade. So I don't think she's gonna do 10 damage per hit. I think she'll probably do more, maybe like 15, which means that that's 40 hits. That's 40. 15 plus the true damage of 5, that's 20 per hit. 40 is 80. So she kills him no matter what. Um, but yeah, so basically that's that's you know that's the point. Is uh, Hopefully, uh, Bector can't stand against her. Of course, here he's still going to stand against her. Like That all hinges on him not standing on this tile. Um, so, got to find another tile set, basically. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Um, important things, I guess, to, to mention... Uh, when, I need to now save orbs for whatever Choose Your Legends comes out. The the new set, the New Year stuff is gonna come out. The, not, not the New Year, but like the the anniversary stuff is gonna come out. But that's usually really bad. Um, and the only thing we get out of that is a bunch of orbs. Uh, the only thing, right? But what I mean is like, 
we rarely get like anniversary units that are like, oh, you really have to pull for this unit or whatever. And they might change that this year. Um, that feels like something they'd be doing. Um, it, it feels like something the, the 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 recent IS would do. Is what I'm saying is you know they've changed from from time to, from year to year I think a little bit. Um, so I think we're gonna we might run into that, but I guess for the future we need to save for for whatever's coming then. Like I said, the CYL four banner. Uh, what else? For this account, and for anyone who wants to kind of mimic certain things, if you want a Pala, right? Um, we gotta wait for Tabarn to come back. Um, there was a there was a few other skills that I needed. I'm not entirely sure anymore. Oh, that's there. That's there. Um, yeah. Well, those three in and of in and of themselves are like five hundred orbs worth of stuff that you'd have to like save up. I'm only at a hundred now. I was close to three hundred, but it is what it is. But at least I don't have to summon anymore, and that's the good thing, right? So now I can save everything and wait for that stuff to come in. Uh, but yeah, so those are the those are the three main things. I need to wait for uh, um, pirate uh, colorless Tibarn to come back. I need to save up for the CYL banners. Um, again, the, you can kind of skip the CYL banners. Like the, the CYL banners are usually skippable, mainly because, like I said, they don't really add anything other than like give you a new unit to play with that looks really strong. Uh, a lot of times, I don't have very good fodder either. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Some it, it could change it, right? Uh, you just want to be prepared. Um, and like I said, I really want to pull for a Byleth, but I'll have to like calculate how many orbs I have at the time and um, kind of look ahead to like hopefully not not predict, but like hope that the the that Tibarn banner comes back. But I don't think it'll be for a while. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, there's not a whole lot else uh, to summon for other than like waiting for the next um, mythic hero to come out or the next legendary hero or whatever to come out. Uh, to see if we can get like a better rotation with her because I didn't blow all my orbs on her Specifically because I knew this would happen that I would probably just get a bunch of like Julia's and a bunch of Dimitri's and not get her uh, so I Think if you're gonna blow all your orbs as much as it hurts to say to wait To get the seventh unit for your AR defense, especially like I mean if if you're an if you're an AR tier You know if you're in vault of heaven right now right now, you know if you've survived last week last season and you're in there right now you're probably not on this channel. I mean, there's not, probably not a whole lot I can offer to help you. Uh, but if you're like me, a lot of us probably just got knocked down. It's kind of hard to say, oh, don't get her. Because, you know, she'd be very helpful going into next next season. We get into um, Vault of Heaven and then um, staying there. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to say that, but uh, I think patience is, is what we have to go with here. Um, yeah, so... Like I said, uh, I'm not, and thinking about it, I'm really not sure what other uh, blue, like what other banner, like what other blue heroes, legendary or mythic heroes, I'd really want. I'd have to go think about that. What would be like a good, I guess like her legendary Corrin would be pretty awesome. But legendary Corrin is not blue. She's, uh, she's colorless, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, and yeah, so still kind of suffering from not having that plus 10 air that i should have had a long time ago but uh, i was kind of a dumbass then so it is what it is um but yeah so th that's that um i guess i won't ramble on too much um just good luck for any of you who are summoning um i think you should we should all meter ourselves on this banner though considering how poor the fodder is for uh, uh a team uh for air flyer balls or whatever um but yeah, so, you know, good luck out there on all you guys. And uh, I think I might have, like, a video on Apex 7 later today or maybe tomorrow. But we'll see about that.